Hey guys, I'm back again with another video, and today I have my cousin Valerie. I have my cousin Valerie here with me, and we're gonna be doing a. Um, I'm gonna be doing a coming video, and I was gonna do the pump, pumpkin carving, but I thought it'd be better to do it with someone else and have like a like competition of who makes like the best pump. I mean, who carves the best pumpkin? Um. So yeah, and we're gonna also be answering some questions, like Halloween questions, fall questions. Um, so if you want to know what our pumpkins are going to look like, then just keep on watching. But anyways, we have some knives, and then we have the little ones to carve. I didn't get the ones, that, like the little kids, because I feel like those like bend easily. So I just got like these really cheap, 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 these cheap ones from um, the store. And then we got some spoons to carve the little pumpkins. And then we have a bowl to like put everything in. So, and we have a question. So I think we should just get started. So just go like, you could do it like this, or honestly, I don't know. <laughs> you know I just do what you want, just go like straight down. Just do a circle. A circle. A circle. A circle? <laughs> so it's like... It just looks like your fingers. Bro, you want to I did too, but it doesn't come out. What the? Watch, guys. Watch, guys. Made on the mouth. Okay, man. I forgot how weird this thing freaking smells. Do it slippery. Made on the mouth. Look at all those guts. Yes. Okay, so. Um, should we just start? <laughs> oh, you did a start, bro. I should have like that too. <laughs> That's not even a <laughs> Bro. What is your favorite Halloween movie? The Nightmare Before Christmas. Mine has to be The, the Corpse Bride. Like, oh, so it's The Corpse Bride and Halloween. Halloween Town, The Corpse Bride, and I love Teen Witch too. Those three are basically my favorite Halloween movies. One that I really cannot watch, like it's not even like a part of this question, but like, um, is Coraline. People like really like Coraline, but like to be honest, it creeps me out. Like Coraline gives me like the like, heebie jeebies. Is that a no? Jenny? Jimmy, Jimmy. No, no, they give me like the heebie, like the like goosebumps, like I don't know. Dude. Oh my god, I used to hate goosebumps. Oh my god, I still don't watch it, but when I was younger, like my sister loved goosebumps. Oh, and I could not no they don't. And I could not watch goosebumps. Oh my god, it creeped me out. I remember the one with, that has like the dummy in it. Dude, that one's the only one that I remember. Dude, I cannot watch that. Like it it creeps me out. Like, I just cannot. Like literally goosebumps reminds me of my childhood, but like I hate it so much. Oh, well, let me tell you a little story. Um, so when I was younger, well, everybody knows, everybody that knows me knows I hate Chucky, like I freaking hate Chucky. And um, the reason why is because when I was younger, um, my sister, she, I don't know, she freaking hated me, okay? And I think I, I like, pissed her off or something. And she was like, oh, you know that Chucky's in town? And that in school I read this new, the newspaper that like he's going around killing little girls named Erica. I don't know why. I don't know why I believed her, but I believed it. I was like in elementary, and I went like I went to my mom all scared, and I told her what you know what my sister said, and she was like, "Oh, she's stupid." But like I literally believed her, and ever since then, like I just hated Chucky. Like I I already hated him, but it was like. He didn't scare me, scare me, but after that, like, I don't know why, it just scared the crap out of me. And to this day, I, I don't like watching him. I don't like, like, even, like, hearing his name or, like, nothing. I just freaking hate it. And then yesterday, I went to Spirit, was it <gasps> We went to Spirit Halloween, and Valerie was like, well, what do you say? Like, look over there or something. And I turned, and they had a freaking Chucky, what was it? A um, Chucky poster. A poster. Oh, my gosh. Like, I can't. Like, I freaking hate him so much. Like, I don't know. Okay, so how long do you... Think you'll oh, Wait, what? how long do you think you'll survive in a horror movie? 
Would you make it halfway? Would you make it to the end? Would you be the first one to go or would you make it to the sequel? Wait. Honestly, I'll make it halfway. What? If you make it to the end, then that means you're gonna make it to the sequel because you're still alive. So it's basically the same thing, you know? Make it to the end, but like this one is make it to the sequel. You know? You get it? Like it's two different things. Because if you make it to the sequel, you're already gonna be in the part two. But if you make it to the end, that's like, oh, you ended it there. Um, honestly, I think I'll make it halfway. I don't think I'll be the person to go. I'll make it halfway. If if you were forced to be in a scary movie, what scary movie would you be in? Like if they, 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 they like if someone forced you, like if you have to be in a scary movie, like what would you choose? I don't know. Look up. <laughs> What's the answer? In um, when they start your calls, I'd be in hush, bro. That's freaking scary. I know people are gonna be like, oh my god, when the stranger calls not even scary. To me, it's freaking scary, like, like, bro. Have you seen that movie? Dude, you need to watch it. I'm gonna see if it's on Amazon, but, dude, it's like, it's about this girl that she goes big visits, and, like, they have this really nice house. Like, it's freaking nice. And I think it's two little kids, a girl and a boy. And they, the parents leave, and there's this stalker. I think she's like a stalker. Or something like that, and she, he keeps he keeps calling and he, he like gives an answer, and then like eventually she starts like hearing stuff in the house and like bro, <laughs> we go back.
and um, she was a Girl Scout and she saw the flag, I think it was like after school had ended and like she still saw the flag, saw the flag that was, the flag was still like up so I guess like, because um, I know after school they always see the flag down, like you see the principal take it down. So I guess they forgot to take it down or something like that and she decided to do it herself. So she got to the school to take it down and she like lost like um, balance and she fell like off the building and she passed away. Like that's actually pretty sad because she was like, she, like that she was like really dedicated to like Girl Scout so like she felt the need that she had to take up down like the flag. But anyways that's like what happened to her. And now the story to now two stories. My sister Veronica, she's like two, three years younger than younger than me, older than me. And she was supposedly like the haunted that like the haunted place is the third floor, the girls' bathroom. Wait. But it's not it's not the only bathroom. That, that's not the only place that's haunted. That old right next to it. So my sister um, was in the restroom on the third floor of the girls' restroom, obviously. And um. She was, I think she was washing her hands and that when she stepped back or something like that, I don't know what happened. But anyway, she saw her, I think it's good She saw her um, like under like a uh, apparition, like by the sink or something like that. And she got so freaking scared and like she like left the restroom. And another time she said that she walked into school, like at the beginning of the school, and they were looking at the cameras and then they saw her like, they saw like this, um, they saw this like figure. figure just like go down the stairs and like the teachers were looking at it and like all that stuff and they were like oh my god you know so like that's another thing and then um my cousin Myra she was in the girls bathroom but it was not on the third floor it was actually the first floor by like the lockers and she said she saw like a pair of shoes and her friend nobody was in the restrooms just her because like did she no, say oh yeah I'm her friend her friend had but she was she in there yeah, she was in the second stall and um, she wouldn't believe her. Did she saw some shoes? Yeah. Yeah, like she saw like, and she said that like, she, said she would look up. She would look up. She wouldn't look down. When she would look up, she saw some shoes, but she looked down and she wouldn't see them anymore. So, um, and she said that they were like the old shoes, huh? Yeah, they were like white old shoes. Like, and the thing is, like, people heard like stuff there, and people heard like in the auditorium, they always heard something like the like the lights. Would, I don't know what, but like, it wasn't just like the third floor, it was like, whatever. And I, they have like three ribbons in the back of the school, like for her memory. <laughs> okay guys, so we just finished our pumpkins. It took forever. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you wanna show yours first? No, we show it at the same time. And then this one is mine. The eyebrows are really weird because they're like not even the same, but you know. Uh, and this one's mine. Look at the eyebrows. But I have a camera here because we're going to put them outside right now. But go follow my cousin on Instagram and go follow me at Erica Diaz. I do have a channel. Oh, she has a channel. I'll link it down below, but I don't know what it's called, but anyways. <laughs> you never knew you had a channel. Anyways, I have one. Um, she doesn't have any videos, do you? No. But she's supposed to be recording. <laughs> I record one soon. Um, here comes my cousin. Anyways, um, so that's the end of this video. Um, it looks like you, dude. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> Let see your so time. anyways. That's the end of this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Say bye, Valeriana. Bye. <laughs> bye.